I don't know. All of this just makes me really want to play more, but, you know, mm -hmm. there's a place for that. There's a place in time. So, so that are we going to talk about the downfall or are we going to skip that? You could go. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. I, I just want to talk about whatever I want to talk about. Uh, well, to me, the January 9th show was the beginning of the end of Super Mountain. Because it really was, I feel. Yeah. And I just felt like, even after, I remember thinking, like, I don't think we're going to play a show better than that. That was the best show that Zebra's ever played. It was the most merch we've ever sold, ever. And it was the biggest crowd we ever had. And everyone was filming it, and everybody was in on it. And it was just so crazy having those fans there. And I loved that feeling. See, being able to look out especially from my view, and see everybody knowing all the lyrics was a, definitely a different experience yeah. for me. Because we'd never done that. Our band, like, I knew our band had that potential, but we'd never done that. And so, that was crazy to me. You know, fucking signing autographs and shit. Like, that didn't happen. Like, it did, but not as crazy as that January 9th. We sold out all our merch and everything. You know, we made, like, I think we made... It was like at least five hundred dollars that night. Yeah, that here. was from merch, and and I remember getting gypped. I didn't even want to talk about it, but I got yeah, gypped. Yeah, gypped at the door. I got gypped about the door, and um, because I had booked the show, and I was just a dumb kid. I was just dumb because yeah. he was like, "Who booked it?" And I was like, "Booked it? I booked it." Yeah, because exactly. I did book it. And then they just they were like, they stopped counting how many people came for us. I remember that. So it was like it didn't matter who came for anybody because no, but it was usually like, it's a ratio because the fa I mean, it's uh, just funny because because they ask it, so. yeah they ask everybody that comes like what band did you come to see and there were so many yeah for just Zebra Mountain that it was stupid and so they were just like a hundred bucks like they just cut it just it. the whole nature of the Stop show scaring. the whole nature of the show was it was just a Zebra Mountain show but I just wanted people to open up for us literally just like I literally just wanted people to. I don't know, it was just like, it wasn't, it wasn't a corroborating kind of thing. It was like, hey, do you want to just literally be the opening act? And like, I didn't expect them to bring anybody. Mm hmm So, and it but was- But yeah, that was just, yeah. that was stupid how many people we had there. But um, that's like, honestly, that's the most people I've ever seen in that venue. And I've seen a lot of that's bands true. there. That's true. I, like, literally. I that's just, true. I've even seen, like, pretty big ska bands there. And we Zebra Mountain literally still had more people. Whatever. Okay, so, beginning of the end. We'll just kind of skim the part, I feel. Okay, so, um, basically, like, maybe, yeah, it was pretty much a month later, um, because Dawson was in the band at that time, too, and he was my boyfriend at the time. And then, long story short, it was kind of like, seemed like we were a package deal. And so, the other part of Zebra just thought it would be better maybe without these two people that are together. Because they don't want to tour, and they're kind of almost, you know, like an old married couple. And so, me and Dawson both got kicked out of the band that day. That's it, right? Like, no, no Jake Timmer. Jake Timmer quit. Jake Timmer quit. Jake Timmer quit. Okay. So, um... Yeah, and then there was a rough patch until they eventually, like, a month after that, like a month, because it was March, you guys just broke up. That was, um, Dennis quit. And then it wasn't very long at all after that Jacob quit. Yeah. It would, yeah, it was the beginning of the end as soon as And then, cut. at the time, this is why I do this was just starting. Because yeah. I, I had been working on on their songs. So, right right after that, it was just right back, right into this is why I do this. So, so Zebra Mountain, right into this is why I do this. Which is relevant, because you ended up yeah, playing that no, band. Yeah, yeah, we could play. We could play. We could talk about that band. So, this is why I do this with Lonnie and Devin. So, which is kind of the reincarnation of HM1. Because that's going to branch into Grimm. Yeah, so this is why I do this. And then we were kind of... I was doing Action Tycoon at the time. Me and you were volunteering at a church in Pleasant Hill or something. Yes, we were. And then, then it kind of like... We ended up doing This Is Why I Do This with the, kind of the same roster as the worship team there. Yeah, and so we started playing... We played a couple shows with This Is Why I Do This, which was really fun. Some of them were cool. Like, one of them I've, was... Uh, with the Relay for Life or the New Year's? The New Year's in the cellar. 
which is cool. Mm-hmm. That was cool. There's a bunch of random people there. That was a really... And Jake yeah. Timon, oddly enough, mm-hmm. like, if you think about no, it... No, because he's still my friend, yeah. What's like, he was still my friend, too. It was just, it was like a oh, weird energy. Yeah. It's just a weird energy. I just remember that. Um, it's just weird thinking of crunching the timeline together and thinking we just jumped from Zebra Mountain kind of breaking up to this is why I do this with Jake Timon watching. You know what I mean? When you make the timeline really slow. Well, I was really hanging out with him then, like a lot, just because of Ellie and everything, you know. But um, anyway, so uh, we were in This Is Why I Do This for a while, and then pretty much like maybe like near the end of that, but like right before it ended, we started thinking that we needed to make a new band. And so, um, how did Brian even get into the mix? Well, at first I was doing my Action Tycoon solo project. Yes. Sorry. No, and then, um, started to try to make it into a band, and for a second, we were Action Tycoon the band again, but it was, like, Act 10 and Tyke 00 N. That's the way it was spelled. And then... Then we're like, all right, well, then it's literally after the conversation on Facebook with Alex DeLuna with him saying that bullshit with, like, you know, Jacob made up that band name. And I'm like, no. And then, you know, some weird bullshit, which is whatever. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. Just as a personal challenge, then, okay, I don't need to have that name. And yeah. And me and you and and Alan. Alan. Yeah, and came uh, up we, with a new name. Well, he didn't really, though. It was really me and you talking, and he was there. That's pretty much what it was. I think we even have it, like, a little bit on video of yeah. the time right when we came up with it. Yeah. Because we wanted something that would describe the music, but at the same time, you know, just kind of embody us. Like, something that really felt familiar to us. It's kind of doomy, but also kind of, like, hyphy. Exactly. Exactly right. And that's why it was, like, grim, which is kind of emo goth word and then business spelt the way it was it's very uh rap culture and so grim business so it we was. did grim business for a while 